Day is a very exciting day. We've actually got some new Hogwarts Legacy news, some new info, and even a little gameplay cinematic cutscene segment that we have never seen before. So excited about this, man. I am absolutely nerding out. Cannot wait for this game. Your boy had to bring out my official Gryffindor robes. Look at this. We got we got the Trev. Kind of a little messed up because the first one I could find was a Death Eater one, but... Um, I, I, I guess we're going to forge our own path here today. Let's just start with the biggest thing, a gameplay clip, a gameplay segment that we haven't seen before. Yeah. So this is Natsai, which is like your companion and your playable character. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ugh. Blasted. There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Gotta go save that hippogriff, baby, dude. I'm so, that, that is our first look at gameplay. Like we've seen little clips and segments and things in the trailers and in the state of play and stuff, but that is actually a segment taken out of, of the real game. Like we, we just saw it right there for the first time. This, this is so, so, so exciting. And there's a lot to learn from this. We've got a lot to talk about today, even more than what we just saw right there. And everything we're gonna be talking about today in this video is coming from an hour long presentation by Autodesk. Autodesk makes software that game developers use. And this is kind of like a behind the scenes thing. It's not really meant for the public. It's more meant for industry insiders and stuff. Just kind of showing how Autodesk can be used by game developers, how it assists game developers in making games and things. It's really, really interesting. If you guys wanna watch the whole hour long thing, I'll try to find a link, put it down in the description. But um, again, it's not it's not in a, a palatable format for like a normal person. It's, it's not meant to be like a trailer that's showing off the game. It's showing super in-depth behind the scenes stuff. So if that's your thing, go check it out. Now with that, again, it, it wasn't meant to be like a big reveal to the public. So it, it, it's, it was happened on a Zoom call where the quality isn't necessarily the best. So everything you see in this video, just know it's it's super behind the scenes. We don't really know if this is currently where it's at, if things have changed. You know, this is obviously an earlier version of the game. So I'm sure a lot has changed since then. Take everything with a grain of salt. None of this is like 100% how it's gonna be at launch, but it just kind of gives us an idea of the direction we're heading. And obviously judging from that clip, it looks really, really good. So. I'm excited to talk about this. Now, um, we can take a couple of things from that first little cutscene that we saw. Number one is about the hippogriff itself. His name is High Wing. He's obviously, you know, a, a character. It, this isn't the first or the last time that we're going to end up seeing him. You know, uh, Natsai or Natty talks to our main character and says, oh, you know that hippogriff. So obviously we met him somehow. Maybe he's on the grounds for our Care of Magical Creatures classes or something like that. Who knows? But as we can see here, we've got some dark wizards surrounding him, really kind of abusing him and, and capturing him. Now, these dark wizards are poachers. In, in this hour long presentation, there was a small section where you could see kind of the storyboarding and how they originally came up with this scene. So you could see here, it says Natty and the Avatar died behind respective cover on the bridge as Highwing burst through the door pursued by three poachers. So there's some element of poachers here. Who are these guys? Why are they here? Why are they after the hippogriff? What's happening? I don't know, but we're gonna have to solve it. You know, they, Natty even said, hey, I'm gonna go in and get the evidence. You find a way to free the hippogriff. So obviously, battling against these poachers and, and putting them in their place is going to be a big part of the game. So kind of exciting there. We're already getting some of the, the you know, storylines that are happening. Now, the other big thing I really took from this clip is right at the very end, the door shuts. He can't get through it. He says, there's got to be another way up the tower. And then it kind of turns to a very obviously climbable spot. Now, we haven't seen much in terms of gameplay thus far. But that shows it's going to be kind of like a platformer style. Like we're, we're going to be able to run and jump and leap and climb and hang. And, you know, I'm assuming here again, none of this is really confirmed, but just kind of insinuates that you're going to have almost like not parkour, but just the ability to, to traverse around things and go up and climb. So 
pretty cool there. The next thing I want to highlight from this presentation is the character customization, and it looks incredible. There is so much going on here. It was just a very short segment, but it showed so much. I'm going to slow it down. We're going to go frame by frame and, and show you guys each of the, the five different panels that we saw. So we saw the presets panel here. Tons of options. You can see there's a scroll bar, so there's going to be lots and lots of options for preset characters. If you go over to the right, you've got your face wear, so you're going to have all kinds of face shapes, skin color, glasses customization, hair color, your hair styles. Again, I mean, it, there's 20 hairstyles right there, and it looks like that's maybe one third of the way through. So obviously, character customization is going to be huge here. I'm going to spend so much time just customizing my character. We've got freckles and moles, scars and markings, eye color, eyebrow color, eyebrow shape and that's all we could see we didn't see the last little tab here which is a hogwarts crest i don't know what that could be if you guys have any ideas feel free to leave them down in the comments one of the really important parts is when he clicks on the robe drop down look at this you can see deathly hollows what deathly hollows robe could you potentially equip on your character well that would be the invisibility cloak so i i think this right here confirms that the invisibility cloak is going to be in the game now that's not all though all right this this screen actually gave us a lot of info later on he ended up clicking the mannequin button this shows us that house elves are going to be in the game which we already knew it shows us that howlers are going to be in the game so i wonder if we're going to get some sort of a howler at some point that could be kind of cool fight club allies so it sounds like there might be some sort of a dueling club and maybe you can duel your friends to be able to practice your skills and, and level up your spells and things like that. There's also prefects, professors, of course. And then look at the end there. Professor underscore Battle of Hogwarts A, B, and C. Now, obviously, the Battle of Hogwarts in the movies and books is when, you know, Voldemort comes and attacks the school. So is there going to be some sort of, of Battle of Hogwarts in this game? It looks pretty likely. And last but not least, this screen gave us the name of our beloved Charms Professor, who is Professor Abraham Ronan. And you can see down the bottom left, he is in Slytherin. So I wonder if he could be like the head of House of Slytherin. I don't know. Now, like I said, this was an hour long presentation. So there, there's got to be so many little things hidden in this. And I might even end up doing a part two to this video. I know a lot of people are breaking this down. It's all over Reddit and things. If more secrets are unearthed here, I'll be sure to cover it for you guys guys, but uh, there were two other things I really wanted to focus on. So number one is this screen right here. Look right towards the top, right there. Clean bludger set, clean broom set. One of the biggest questions people, including myself, have is, is are we going to be able to play Quidditch in this game? I, I really hope we're able to. I don't know. We haven't. I mean, we've seen that you can fly on the broom and it's it's a method of travel. I, I'm, I'm not sure if the actual sport's going to be in there, though. We haven't seen anything from it. So a lot of people think maybe because we haven't seen it, it's probably not in there. Maybe there's going to be cinematic Quidditch moments where you don't get to play, but you get to see it happens. And obviously that, you know, ties into the lore and you've, you've got your, you know, allies as well as your enemies and, and competition and things like that. I don't know. We'll see. But it, it shows that Quidditch is definitely in the game. Is it playable? I don't know is it cinematicable I, I don't know is it just a, a random thing in the background that you might see walking a class could be but we know it's there now the last thing i want to mention is such a small detail but i think that's what makes this so special this is probably what i'm most excited about because it just it shows how much passion and love is being poured into this project just how detail oriented it's going to be how true to the lore and the world of harry potter it's going to be uh, and I can't take credit for this. I'm going to link the Reddit post down in the description of the person that, that first noticed this, or at least that I, I saw had noticed it. There's a short little segment in this presentation right here where you can see a character knocking on a door to be able to be let in. As it turns out, this is a Hufflepuff student trying to get into their common room. Now, if you go to the Harry Potter Wikipedia and you read about the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room, it says it was located in a nook on the right-hand side of the kitchen corridor. There's no password required, but you had to tap it in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. So you had to do Helga Hufflepuff, two and then three. Watch the character model. He's doing the two and then the three. So it's just like down to the smallest little details. And that I don't, I, I can't even remember ever seeing that in the movies. That has to be in the books. And I haven't, I haven't reread the books in so long. I, I think I might have to before this game comes out. That's just mind, mind blowing to me. That, that is so cool that they're putting 
even the smallest little details into things like that. So um, there you guys have it. Very exciting stuff here. I can't wait to learn more about this game. Chandler, the community manager for Hogwarts Legacy, said that we have some very exciting stuff and, and some very big stuff coming soon and, and coming, you know, this summer. So hopefully we get some big announcements. Hopefully we get some more gameplay. Hopefully we get a release date. I, I, I just, I can't wait, man. This is going to be so good. So as we learn more, I'll be sure to update you guys. If anything else comes out about this and, and needs an update, I'll be sure to, uh, to do an even deeper dive. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.